Oh uh, yeah, surprise, I shouldn't be filming this, should I? It would be day 366 of 365. Did you see yesterday's vlog? An absolute epic monster of a vlog. We had a pipe last night, and today is the day after the night before. Jesus Christ, my head is pounding. It took me six or seven hours to do that. It's 25 minutes where I've had 240 odd clips. And this is the weather I've got to look forward to today. It's the 5th of January. I don't know where Bev is or anyone else that stayed here last night. They've all gone out shopping or something. So I'm just left here on my own thinking about this essay that I've got due in on the 10th of January. Jesus Christ, I really don't want to do it. Two and a half thousand words and I haven't really figured out my topic yet. I'm also going to start concentrating on fibre. Let me close this window. It's going to be cold out there. And this whole vloggedy thing will just be a little side thing that I might do or might not do. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm just going to put a video out there just to check in and make sure you guys are all right and that. You see, in the last couple of months, it got to a stage where it was really difficult to keep recording things and stuff like that. And I want to make it more enjoyable, not having to set aside a time for the vlog. And rather just going back to how it was in the first place, naturally, just picking up the phone and recording stuff as I see fit. There's yesterday's video you see uploading at the moment, day 365. Congratulations, your account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes. Click the upload button below to select a video. So once again, just to make it clear, this is just me checking in on you guys and making sure you're okay and you can make sure that I'm okay. You know, one of the reasons I use social networking sites like YouTube and Flickr is because I know my dad is watching. I like to let my dad know that I'm still alive and kicking and doing stuff. I can tell you it's a lot easier than picking up the phone and going, hello dad, how are you? Yeah, 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 okay, bye bye. And you know what else I'd like to do is get a better camera rather than the iPhone. This thing has been really, really trusty to me. It's travelled around the world. It's not the iPhone 4, it's the iPhone 3GS because the iPhone 4 won't be able to do what I needed it to do as easy. But if I did that, I need a new computer as well, a Macintosh or something, to do all the editing and rendering on it because that takes time. This is unbelievable really, isn't it? How long have I been burbling on for and how long is this video so far? And I didn't really have anything to say apart from hello, I'm checking in. And of course, everybody else has gone out and no one's here and I haven't got any food in the fridge downstairs. Mm. And another slightly strange, peculiar thing. You see that tree there? Can you see the branch it's got pants hanging off it they're my pants why are they hanging off the tree branch i got very very drunk last night <sighs> Well, it's like six o'clock now and Bev's home. She wants to take me to the cinema, so we're gonna go to the cinema, but I'm not gonna take you guys. That's a first, isn't it? I'll tell you what though, because I know a lot of you rely on the recommendations I give for films. I'll let you know if I like it or not. It's called The Last Three Days or The Next Three Days or something like that. See this room, I've been sat in it for the last four or five hours just watching the YouTube comments come in on the last video. It's been pretty emotional, very, very sad for me, really. Anyway, catch you when I get back. Right, what do I do now? Fade out. <laughs> That's the film there that me and Beverly are going to go and see, Russell Crowe film with uh, Olivia Wilde and stuff, and it's called The Next Three Days. So yeah, just like the review said, it was a pretty good film, I enjoyed it. I think Beverly enjoyed it, I don't know, but she was crying at the end of it. I cried in part of it, Shh, don't tell anyone that though. I won't give away the plot line, but it was a story about a man that had got very upset and angry about something and wanted his own way and went about it and see if he could get it. So you've got to go and find out if you want it. I recommend the film, it's good, it's good, it's good. But in the same sentence, I should say, it's gonna be one of those films that I'm gonna forget. It's not gonna be one of those memorable lasting films, but it's, it's worth watching if you wanna to go to the cinema and stuff. Hello Chicken, I've got to get you in there somewhere. What do you think? I was wondering how she had such perfect hair all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't give away too much. Uh, it's a Russell Crowe film, so go and check it out if you want it. And also one last thing, the soundtrack sounded pretty good, but it did not gel properly with the movie, but I will check it out there's some good tunes and stuff on it. Look at that Beverly, my pants still hung up on the tree from day 365. Have a look at the state of my managed sales page on Fiverr. I've got 15 active orders at the moment and I thought I was keeping on top of this. Bev's currently doing hers too at the moment. How many you got on order? I've got nine. So tomorrow do I start my essay and I shouldn't be saying start because I should have started about two months ago or do I do these five gigs? I don't know why I'm torn. And also um, I think it's worth mentioning this is the first day I haven't done a daily vlog for a whole year. I haven't done one unless I'm doing one at the moment which I'm not quite sure but you're not going to see this for like a week. We need some light on your face. It's late. Shall we go to bed? We can go to bed now. I don't have to stay up and edit my vlog. Yay! <laughs> Sexual healing! <laughs> Look at this, it's a remarkable sight because I'm not doing my vlog. Beverly's out of bed before me. I'm still in bed and it's gone 12 o'clock. <laughs> Today would have been 367 or 365, but I thought I'd just lie here and stay in bed because I've never been in bed after 12 for the last year or so. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a week's worth of vlogs, recording bits and pieces from each day and making a shorter like weekly vlog and then picking up momentum maybe up to a daily vlog again. I don't know yet, we'll see. Ah, no pants. Look at that, I've come downstairs and the Christmas tree is gone. Oh, no, it's sad that Christmas has finally ended for us. But there's one little present left here to Gemma from Tim. That's my dad there. And apparently Gemma's come
coming home today. I think she's getting a lift with her dad about six o'clock or something like that. So I'll film her when she gets here. So for me, this is what life has come to. Time to do some fiver gigs. 16 outstanding, like I said last night. Let's get going. I should have started earlier, really. I haven't got a great deal of sunlight left. Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about something serious. Do you want to start selling your goods online? <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not messing around here. No, sorry, I can't hear you. I'm wearing earmuffs. I mean, 40 cents an offer. Jesus Christ, what was I thinking? Just, 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 just me up. Why? Why, you horrible? Do you know how long I'm tied into my contract on my iPhone? 24 months. That's two years. I've not really been on the ball today. Look how dark it is outside. I've only managed to do four gigs. Although Beverly and I are eating pizza right now, scummy microwave pizza, we have just been to the gym, haven't we? Stop stuffing your mouth full, tell everyone what you did. Zumba! <laughs> I did it, I just went in the jacuzzi, steam room, sauna and a swim. Nothing more. And that there, that scummy looking pizza thing's my reward. Look who's just got here, it's Gemma! Hello Gemma, we've all missed you. Come and give me a hug. Oi! Welcome home to Sammy C's house of fun. Huh? Hello, she's brought a little sister with her, how are you? And a dog, what's your dog called? Fudge. Fudge. This is fantastic. They brought cake, mince pies, and all sorts of lovely stuff. We've got no idea what that is, but it tasted amazing. Oh, Gemma's got up to her room. I'm coming up here to annoy her. Hello? Where are you? Oh. Pratt, she was hiding behind the door. How are you? Good. Good to be back? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Nice time at home? Yeah. Good Christmas? Yeah. Any more questions? No. <laughs> oh. Well, as you know, Jamila stayed in this room while you away. She thanks you very much. She put a note on the door for you and everything. You look knackered. I'll let you get on. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Nothing really changes, does it? Beverly's playing PKR again and eating chocolate <laughs> stuff. Didn't that go out of date yesterday or something? Well, it tastes all right. <laughs> and anyway, it's strawberry, so it counts as one of my five a day. Pathetic. Oh, it feels nice to have the house back to normal. Actually, Tom's not back yet, as I think he's coming back tomorrow. And we've just installed a new light out here, so it's lighter. Do you remember every time I used to walk down here, it used to be pretty dark? We're all downstairs now. We're going to show Gemma what? Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> You're going to love it. It's really bad and everything else. And straight after that, we're going to go to bed. So good night from me and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Beverly, this is the wrong DVD. Jesus Christ, get it right. <laughs> Hey, uh, today would have been day 368 or 365 and I woke up this morning to some depressing news. After how many odd sales on Fiverr I got my first negative feedback last night. It's really angered me because the guy ripped me off properly. His username was CPSS. He wanted me to do some sort of testimonial on bodyguard stuff so I did that for him. And he gave me a script that was a minute long but I still did it for him even though I say 30 seconds is my maximum. And after a few days he came back and he said, oh look, he's a bit too salesman-y like, a bit too punchy, I need something different. Not only did he expect me to deliver double, he's taken liberties there. He expects me to do it all over again because he's not happy with the way I said it, even though he didn't ask me how to say it properly. But because I've got over 200 feedback, only one negative feedback doesn't take off a percentage point, so I've still got 100% positive feedback. See there, you see your feedback, 100% positive. And there you go, negative feedback with four lines of scathing abuse, a prick. I treat my online feedback like people treat their cars. If people get a dent in their cars, they get really upset. If I get a dent in my feedback, I get really upset. I'm gonna be miserable now for like three days. Anyway, it's Friday and what a great start to the day it's been. I've earned three and a half thousand dollars, had all my expenses paid, and that's all due to the bodyguard school training. So, thanks for your support. Morning Beverly, where are we? Cafe. Yeah, having what? Omelette. With Gemma! Yeah, just because I've stopped the vlog doesn't mean I'm going to stop coming to Cedar's Cafe and eating their great omelettes and breakfasts and stuff. <laughs> Christ on a trike, that was good, how was it? The weather's proper horrible and rainy out in Newport. It started snowing again last night, but it didn't lay. I know the days are meant to be getting longer, but they seem to be getting darker at the moment. It's no good really, I've got to do five gigs and I need sunlight for it. Back home now and it's dark outside and guess where these two are off to? They're going to the gym. Gemma is going to the gym. What class are you two doing or are you just doing swimming? Just doing swimming. No gym? No class? Rubbish. 
Not good enough, really. I know I'm not going, but they should be doing some classes. They said they do spinning today, but they're not. <sighs> you have to do spinning at least once this month while Beverly's got guest passes and stuff. Is that right? You've got to tell her? Yes. I'm just having a look at these cinema times, and the way back is on at 8 o'clock down in the Newport Cinema, so I'm going to wait until the girls get back and go and see that. Although the film to see at the moment is apparently 127 hours by Danny Boyle, and I really like Danny Boyle films, but because this has only got one showing per day, it means it's going to go out the cinema soon, so I'm going to see it before it does. Look who's back and cooking dinner like all women should. Cinema's on in half an hour. We're going to have to do this quickly, babes. I like. Food done and now it's quarter to eight so we've got to go and see this film. It's called The Way Back and I'll tell you about it on The Way Back. That's the one we're seeing. It's got Colin Farrell in it. That's the one we saw the other day and this is the one we're going to see next. Yeah, hello. It must be really confusing for you, me dying between one scene and another. <sighs> so, The Way Back was a bit of an epic film. Epic in the traditional sense of the word. It was really long, drawn out, and it said a long story of like this massive, massive journey. Oh, I'm too cold to think about any other film that I'll compare it to at the moment, but it's pretty good. It's okay. The cinematography in parts was really rubbish, though, but in other parts it was really good. And what surprised me most is that it wasn't that gruesome. I expected eight men travelling across several different countries, 4,000 miles or whatever it was, to be pretty gross in parts, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, and also it's a National Geographic commission. That was a surprise as well, so you'll probably see it on the National Geographic channel later on. Uh, anyway, it was okay. Colin Farrell played a pretty good part. He played a skanky beggar sort of robber guy, but uh, nothing else to say about it, really. Going home now. Ooh, I think you're a bit blurry in this light. Do you want to say anything about it? Can we watch Battlestar Galactica when we get back? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. What day would it have been today? Day 360... 69? Yep. <laughs> I got up pretty late again today, got up after 12, so bad. Beverly and I have got our essays to do and five gigs, haven't we? Have you done your hair? No. Are you sure? It looks browner. Mm, it's just got lighter in the swimming pool. Oh, is it? She wants to go back blonde again and between you and me, so do I. How terrible is that? Look at the tree, my pants are still hanging off it. I wish I was tall enough to reach them. Hmm. They were my favourite pants as well. <laughs> so gorgeous, how many gigs you got to do? Well, I've only got one today, but I've got about... 10 in the queue. Ooh, I've got about 16 to do, but the next one's not due till the 13th, but I think I might clear some up today. Oh, and Beverly, when you're done, can you tidy up this bloody mess, please? Also, I want to show you something else. Beverly bought me this stylus thing for the iPad. I want to show you how it writes. I've got this application on there called Penultimate, and it writes pretty well, actually. Nice uh, signatures and stuff. With the stylus, it's meant to be a lot easier, but I don't think it is, actually. It feels funny on the page because it's like rubber on screen. It feels easier on the hand. I shall keep practising with it, though, and let you know how it goes. Anyway, enough pissing about on the iPad, it's five gig time and the sunlight's getting low so I haven't got much time to do videos. That's what it looks like out there today, sun should be setting about 4.30. Oh damn, I think actually that sunlight's a little bit too harsh on my face at the moment. <laughs> Why can't anybody make a body powder that keeps your balls cool and dry and actually smells good? I could only be bothered to do one gig, how many have you done? I've done two gigs. Yeah. Bev does all her recording on her motion eye thingy on her laptop. Hello! This is the first nice day I remember being out here for ages, at least a couple of months or so. The sun's not going to be up for much longer though, look. I'm missing doing my vlogs. I've got loads more time. Do you know what I'm doing with that time though? I'm doing nothing. I'm just sat on my laptop typing away. I haven't even been doing the fiver gigs, have you seen? I've got 16 outstanding. I've only done one today, just that one I showed you. <laughs> Have you heard about this stupid mug rapper called Edro tries to sing but he can't? Oh well, I've got another couple of gigs done. Now I've decided to go out for a drive because Bev's being a bit miserable at the moment, which happens every single time we have an essay due in. Not sure where though, just going to chill out somewhere. I might go to the cinema on my own. Sky looks utterly gorgeous tonight. Wow, look at that purple over there. Anyway, yeah, I said an essay due. We've got an essay due on Wednesday, I think. We've got to write about two different comparisons on one body of work or something like that. I don't quite understand it myself. It's only during in like five days. Yeah, I did decide to go to the cinema. Season of the Witch, it's a Nicolas Cage film or something. Please turn off your phone. Thank you. Here you go, that was the film there. Season of the Witch with Nicolas Cage. Absolute pure crap. Oh, it's cold in the car. Yeah, it was a 15. There was a lot of blood and gore, and that's why, I think. It was pretty much everything you'd expect of a Nicolas Cage film set in the 14th or 15th century like that, about witches and warlocks and wizardry and all sorts of stuff. 
but it served me the purpose well of getting out the house and being away for two hours and disappearing into another world and that's all that matters to me but don't go and see it unless you're into that sort of stuff and just like that i'm back home now me and Gemma have been in the kitchen downstairs making spicy spinach and carrot muffins what the hell are they they look so good i had to make them i got this really cool little app on the ipad yesterday from tesco's and it shows loads of different ingredients and stuff anyway they're in there cooking they all look green and funny what the hell green cakes oh the oven's just gone beep 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 and Gemma's here to get them out and they're green still what the hell Gemma these are the weirdest looking muffins <laughs> i've ever seen i'll tell you what though they taste pretty good i think we'll let them cool and i have them tomorrow morning nice bit of baking though even though they are green Today would have been day 370 or 365 and last night Thomas came back home. Hello Tom! Nice to see you've come back after Christmas with a Deirdre haircut. Yeah. We're just heading up to Weatherspoons at the moment for our first Sunday roast of the year. Mm. And look, it's all four of us back together again. Ah, oh, it's like old times, isn't it? So tell me Thomas, how was York? It was nice. It you was went good. to Scotland, didn't you? And I went to Scotland. Yeah, I'm good sure. New Year's. Yeah. Any Christmas presents? I've got some Barocca. <laughs> nice, whatever that is. <laughs> it's another beautiful day in Newport and we're up after 12 again. Sunlight's proper harsh too. I could really do with getting some proper sleep because I want to start waking up at 9 again. <laughs> Me and Bev both got vegetarian. What'd you get, Gemma? Pork. She loves a bit of pork. <laughs> Uh, I remember why I don't eat these every single day because they absolutely smash me in. Back home now and you know what time it is, it's five gig time. I'm going to try and get three or four done then start work on this friggin essay that I've got. There's just a little bit of sunlight left out there. I need my own studio really to do these gigs. <laughs> then all of a sudden Facebook deprecate. <laughs> I got ri- First off, I don't know what to get you for your birthday. Up off their own ass and do something with their life. And that is enough done for me today. That was six gigs in total because someone ordered three instead of one for that really long gig that I did. And now somehow I've got to get the motivation together to get this essay started, which I have not got a clue how to get started. It's due in on Wednesday. No, 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 look who's turned up, it's Lloyd. Let's do any of the new vlogs. No, I'm not doing them. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was cute. Your face lit up like I was still doing. Today would have been day 370, you know. Glad to see he's bothered to come round. I thought everyone would stop coming round now. I'll stop doing my vlogs and stuff. How are you getting on with your essay at the moment, Lloyd? Uh, I think I'm doing well. No, I did 2,600, then I edited it down to 2,000. So He's I... talking about words for anyone who doesn't understand. How are you two doing? How many words? Just over 2,000. How many have you done so far, babe? Oh, about 400. <laughs> How many have you done? Uh, yeah, well, I've done zero words so far, so I'm going to get the girl to do mine. Maybe I'll pay someone on a fiver gig to do it for me. As he's popped round, we're going to go and take him swimming with our guest passes down the new gym, aren't we? Show us the shorts I'm letting you borrow. And obviously I'm not allowed to film at the gym, so I'm going to cut it there. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Today would have been day 371 of 365, but I'm sat here doing my essay at the moment, which is due in in about 48 hours or something like that. I haven't wrote a single thing yet, but I've opened about 20 different tabs, I promise you. Gemma, the cow, is just finishing hers up over there, and Beverly's upstairs doing hers. And the more I read into this, the more I think I've chosen a really bad subject, and I should change right now while I've still got a chance. No, stop it. Look who's bloody turned up to annoy me and I'm trying to do my bloody essay. Bloody Tom and Ben here. Surely you've got essays or something to do, haven't you? Yeah. I'm sorry. And what about you, Benjamin? When's your next essay due? Are you sorry for coming in here and annoying me? You don't even live here. No, I'm sorry that I got you filming again. <laughs> do you like my new cardigan? Yes, I love your new cardigan. It looks a little bit big on you, which is quite I weird. Know. I want it a medium. <laughs> I didn't have any. Anyway, cup of tea. Bit more procrastination. Let's get on with my essay. Right, it's now ten past seven. Eight hours after I started writing, and that's how much I've done. See, I've got somewhere. I think I've got some direction now, so it's just going to be typing all through the night. Why do I leave these things to the last moment? I'm procrastinating again. Hey, babe, how many words have you done? Uh, that's a thousand more than me. <laughs> I've managed to knock out 800 words, just get to the meaty bit now. I should be able to do it. 36 hours left to go. Uh, however, I must say that is enough for me today. I'm going to see you again tomorrow morning when I wake up to get started to finish it off. Oh, it would have been day 372 today and it looks like a lovely day out there but I'm going to stay inside behind this window and watch my pants swing about on that tree. Because just like yesterday I've still got this essay to do, I'm like 800 words through it, two and a half thousand words in total I need. So there's what I've done so far, oh no that's Facebook, where is it? It's there. Gemma's just about finished hers, the cow and Beverly's still asleep upstairs, she's not woken up yet. 
And you know what? I think this essay is the underlying reason why I'll stop doing the 365 or stop doing daily blogs. I need to get this out of the way. I knew it was going to impend on it. Shh, stop talking to me. I need to get this done. It's just turned 8 o'clock. I've got 2,178 words now. Woo! Five pages of absolute garbage. Actually, I think it makes a lot of sense, really. But it's going to be a long night for me. I've still got like 400 words to fill it up. That'll be the conclusion, I should think. And then I've got all this other stuff to do on top of it. I've got to do a bibliography, put proper referencing. That's Harvard referencing, if you know what that is. And all sorts of quotations up and down the text. Just we not looking forward to that. It's got to be in at 4 o'clock tomorrow, like I said. Oh, I need to go to sleep now. Anyway, tap, 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 tap. I must get on and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Boo. Good morning. It would be day 372 or 365 this morning and I am wrecked. I've been doing my stuff all night long and I've finished. There it is, the bloody front cover. I managed to do 3,300 words in total. I got a sleepless night, the same as Beverly upstairs. Gemma's already submitted hers, the git. And I've got one hour and 45 minutes to just read through it one more time, make any amendments, then upload it. Woo! Oh, I could go back to having my life. The essay has been submitted. Yeah! Oh, gone are the days where we have to submit it by going into the desk and handing in a paper form. We've got to do it online now. I sent loads of different versions just in case the person's computer doesn't take them all. I even sent my document as a PDF. Bloody hell. Hello, Beverly. I've uploaded it. It's all done. I've finished. Have Yay, you finished? Yeah, I've finished too. That's why you're in bed, yeah. What time did you go to sleep last night doing your essay? Uh, about 8am. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> she's so daft. 42 years old and she still hasn't learned, has she? 42? But, <laughs> but believe me, there's 28 other people in our class and they're all exactly the same, doing the same thing. Oh, I'll leave you to go to sleep now. You know it's been a week since I've finished my daily vlog. A whole week? Yeah. Oh. It's not that bloody nice out today. I might go to the cinema tonight. There's a Zach Galifianakis film I want to watch called, I'm not sure actually. Something about, it's all about the good life, or it's the good life, or a title, or something like that. Otherwise, it's the Danny Boyle film, 127 Hours. Oh, I'm back up in the room where I started eight days ago. I got the day wrong this morning. It was actually 373, not 372. Eight days exactly after I finished my vlog. And, well, I've forgotten how to do this, but I'm going to end the video here and uh, upload this for you guys. I've been keeping on contact through the Facebook page and stuff like that, which has now got like 202 members, which is crazy because I've never, ever advertised it. Just put it underneath the video sometimes and that. Cool. So what? It has been day 366, 367, 368, 369, 370, 371, 372, and now 373 of 365. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow I'm back at university. Bye.